Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Libra. This reading is for Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Capricorn. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, what is February, the month of love? What is the message for whoever is top of mind? What do they want to say to Capricorn? There's somebody who wants to say something to you. Holy Spirit, angel guides, what do they want to say to Capricorn? Whoever's top of mind when it comes to love, whoever pops in your mind first when you get this message, what do they want to say to Capricorn, Holy Spirit? What do they want to say to Capricorn? Spirit, what do they want to say to Capricorn? Hmm? The month of love. Somebody got something to say. What is it? Okay, Spirit. One more card. I can still feel you, even though I don't show it. I'm sorry for how things went between us. I'm reminded of you constantly, and I just want you to be happy. I'm in a much better headspace now. I can accept the fact that maybe we're different, but the truth is we're not because you feel like home to me. I miss you. Mm. Wow, somebody misses you, Cap. Hmm. Even though you're a part, it's like they still feel you, which constantly reminds them they still feel like your energy around them. You still feel their energy. You know, even though they may not have shown it, they want you to know that they're sorry for how things went between you. You know, whatever happened between you two that caused the split, they're sorry for how things went. They want you to be happy. You know, um, at this moment, they're in a much better headspace. That's why they can open up and tell you this now. They realize that you two are very different, but they want you to know that you feel like home to them, you know. Hmm. When they think of you, you two may have shared a home, right? But they, they're missing it. They're in a much better space and they're sorry. They're able to say, I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay. First card. Wow, and under this Libra energy, this is the waning grip, this moon, being grateful um, it, for how things ended, okay? Somebody gets justice, though. Somebody, as a result of this ending, I'm hearing that somebody balanced the scales. They, or the scales are being balanced now. Hmm. Yeah, this is about the releasing this relationship, cause the scales to be balanced. I'm feeling that, that mm, caused somebody to be balanced, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. A lot of deception here. A lot of things, you know, when they say we were just too different, you know, you don't have time for deception. You know, you like to give it to them straight. You're very straightforward um, when, when it comes to... It's like you feel that you would rather be truthful, open, and honest than deceptive. Like, you don't have time to play games and to mess around with other people's feelings because you don't want it to happen to you. Mm. 
I feel like you've released that energy, though. You're in a much better headspace now. That could have been the past, but you've released it. But somebody wants to return. Somebody wants to come back. They're sorry. And um, they want to return because they feel better now. They want you to be happy. They miss you. You're home. They lived with you. You lived together. You spent a lot of time in each other's home, in a home. But, you know... There's something that balances the scale about letting go of this Capricorn. Anything else, Spirit? From this deck. Oh, they want to return to you. They want to return. Hmm. So, what do you think, Spirit? Okay. Need some more cards. What else from this deck? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Yeah, I feel like um, they're sorry for the way that things have ended, and they can feel your energy, and they that reminds them of you. That reminds them of how. You made them feel at home. You provided for them something with the home, right? But I don't know. I feel like somebody had a lot of choices here. There's a, about uh, 12, 18 candies. That's a lot of candy. I don't know why, but I feel like somebody had a lot of choices here. Mm, and they explored every single one of them. Wow. I don't know why I got that, but somebody had a sweet tooth. And they experienced every single one of these chocolates, you know. And um, hmm. there was a lot of deception. At, That, you know, some of you lacked intimacy as a result of the need to explore all these options. Some of this type of setting would not lead to a lot of intimacy. It would lead to deception. And intimacy is very important in the success of a relationship for both of you to be happy. You've got to spend time with each other. Um, hmm. So... With all these selections, it created a lot of secrets, which led to a lot of deception, causing the release. Some of you actually had to experience um, something that was really wrong, coming back in line, being made right. Mm. Something being weighed with the scales and a decision to release mm. in favor of someone's happiness. True love. But they come back, they return because they're sorry and they come with the words. <sighs> mm. They've gone through a few things, you know, they've gone through a few challenges since they've been gone. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. You, uh, the wheel is here, maybe a Sagittarius that you know, but there's some good fortune up ahead. Okay. What does that mean, Spirit, for Capricorn? There's somebody that you have a telepathic relationship with. So telepathy uh, fell. There is somebody, I don't know if it's them, I don't know if it's somebody else, let me know. Because I see the wheel here, uh, things are changing, especially when it comes to love. Divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. Yeah, there is somebody that you are going to have a close connection with, or that you already have a close connection with. The wheel is turning towards them, look for signs. 
and synchronicities. Mm. Telling you that the time is getting close. This is somebody you cherish. I don't know, but I feel like there's already a close connection. This is somebody that you would like to um, get intimate with. Mm -hmm. Spend some one-on-one -on -one time. Especially after coming out of a situation where there were others. A lot of others. Yeah, you are going to take some time to explore your emotions. I want you to get back together, follow the signs. A miracle is going to happen here. There is somebody that you have a telepathy with. You care about that relationship deeply. You two have feelings. There is intimacy there. The wheel's turning. It's turning in that direction. Anything else? Tell me about this soulmate spirit for Capricorn over here that, uh, hmm. okay, what, tell me, mm. okay, yes, yeah, set your intentions high. And know you deserve to receive love, joy, and happiness. Because I don't think you received it there. I don't think that, that you know, because there were too many others making intimacy not exist in a relationship. And it needs to exist, right? But over here, set your intentions high. Why? Because this is a divine connection. Whatever this is, whoever, leave me some information. There's somebody that can complete your sentences that you already communicate with. The synchronization signs and all of that are going to be helping you to recognize each other, move closer to each other. Yeah, you two are going to explore your emotions. Things are going to go deeper. Allow this experience. This is true, true connection. It's a divine connection. So accepting yourself and others as they are liberates patterns of resistance. This is about you just accepting the fact that maybe you two are just too different, just like they said. You've released this, and when you release something and it weighs things out, it makes things balanced, spirit is like, you. that's it. No more should be given to that because you've got something else over here. And so you need to accept maybe that the life of others having a big selection is really not for you. There's something that makes you, maybe they like that, Cap, but you're kind of pulling back from that. There's a maturity here. You released it and it kind of leveled the playing field. So accept that. And this liberates you from patterns that maybe you had stuck with in the past, but now you're open. You're going with something new. You're setting new intentions. You know when it comes to love, you deserve love, joy, and happiness. Whatever connection right, presents itself, it is <laughs> the one. It is. It's a divine connection. I believe true love is coming in. Tell me more for Capricorn here. Under the new moon, even under this moon, right? Waning gibbous moon. It's about being grateful. When you're grateful for something, you attract more of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the past, you know, there could have been a lot of ego and pride when people need to have a lot of options. It's to boost their ego, make them feel like they're in control, right? Mm. And someone's admitting they let their pride and ego get in the way of a love connection, right? And there are still secrets here. There's still secrets that were created as a result of ego and pride. They are still in the way. Secrets where everything hasn't been told here. There's somebody with this return. 
still much more to disclose, to communicate about, to... There's a lot of work here. Even though you two have a past, mm, there's a lot in the way of this connection getting back together. Maybe you two just are different. You're too different. Mm. Yeah, you want something different. They they need a crowd. They need attention. They need to test the waters, to taste every chocolate. <laughs> and you just need one, the divine one, the right one. That's what I hear now. You're, you're moving towards something different. Mm. You do release, you release, and this could be future energy, but you know, you could have already done it, be going through the process, but that is what makes everything equal again, level the ground, the playing field. Mm. What else, spirit? What else? Anything else? For Capricorn, February, love, the month of love. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you know, time is running out on this or maybe you've given this enough time a lot of time this could be somebody you've gone back to in the past um, you've reconciled before and now you know time's run out time it's too late time's run out too many times this could have happened or maybe somebody waited too long to come back to tell you something they should have told you a while ago or they should have been uh, willing to work on back when it first came up. Yeah, for some reason, time is a factor on this. Um, it's a little too late. I don't see any action being taken. And I do see this release and it kind of balances everything. It makes you feel more stable. So tell me, spirit. Tell me. Yeah, in order to receive something new, a new beginning, you have to be able to end the past, um, to let it go to clear its energy and allow something new coming in. And right now they can still feel your energy. I don't know um, if it's because they're trying to hold on to it or maybe you're still in communication. Maybe somehow there's still a connection, but you need to clear this. Definitely release because you've got this coming in, Cap. you got something new on the horizon. The wheel is turning. It's going to be good. What your intuition is telling you, there are red flags with this. Wow, they're like working overtime here for spirit to keep referencing the fact that you should not ignore these red flags because they'll come back to bite you. Somebody is holding on to your energy. There's a lot of ego and pride when it comes to you. Oh, they may even know some secrets. I don't know, but you're kind of like time is up. Yes, and justice is here. You know, what goes around comes around. So be careful with uh, whatever the secret is. But this is a red flag. Okay, this is a red flag when it comes to this other thing you're trying to begin. This uh, new intention that you've set for yourself when it comes to love this is a red flag and so somehow you need to bring a hard closure to this so that it doesn't come back to bite you later that's the card's words so this has could have a detrimental effect on something new that you're trying to establish. Listen to your intuition. It's telling you. It, it'll be talking to you, guiding you through this. Give me a self-care card for Capricorn as they're going through this situation with love. Spirit, self-care. Capricorn, February, love, important, okay, cap, 
Look at the stars. Look to the stars. Mm. Look at the readings for the other signs in your birth chart. Also, um, spend some time out if you can look up, look at the stars uh, and think about this. You know, the your angel guides, your spirit guides will definitely um, provide answers from you getting into the universe, the stars, astrology, looking at your other readings for the signs in your birth chart. Mm -hmm. What else? Health, self-care message for Capricorn in February. Write a gratitude list. You know, the waning gibbous moon is all about gratitude. And whatever you're grateful for, you get more of. So rather than focusing on the stress of this, you know, do some stargazing. Write a gratitude list. Um, write a prose list. Um, what you're really looking for in terms of love what you deserve, what would make you happy. Focus on things that make you grateful so that you're getting more because everything else, you have to pay attention to it, but don't let it consume you in February. Um, you've got something new coming in, but in order to receive that, you have to address this with a hard closure. If you were able to identify with something that I said. Capricorn, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, share the video. And I'm praying for things to go right with this relationship so that something better can come in for you. Pray with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for hanging out till the end. And until the next moon phase, namaste.